Hello and welcome to Hexed Encountered. My name is Joe. Today I'm going to be doing a playthrough of Lock and Load Tactical Digital. And we are going to, let's see, we'll go new game. We are going to be playing Heroes of Normandy with uh, the anniversary of D-Day coming up. I felt like it would be a good time to do something here. So we're going to do the Overlord Begins scenario. And so this is the British and it says outskirts of Benevou, France, June 6, 1944. After months of rehearsals, D Company of the Oxfordshire and Buckinghamshire Light Infantry, familiarly referred to as the Ox and Bucks under Major John Howard, lifted off in towed horse or gliders during the later hours of June the 5th, headed towards the coast of France. Their assignment seize and hold the Cane Canal Bridge until relieved. Operation Overlord, the Allied invasion of Western Europe had begun. That is from Dale Holmstrom. Our order of battle for the British. We are D Company, 2nd Ox and Box Light Infantry, 6th Airborne Division. I'm going to enter on turn one via glider, glider landings. Uh, we have Lord Holmes, that would be Major Howard, Captain McLeod, and Sergeant Livingston for leaders. We have two Piots, three Heavy Gliders, three Bren, nine uh, squads, and a 51 millimeter mortar. For the Germans, who will be played by the AI, they have elements of the 736th Grenadiers, 716th Infantry Division. They'll have a bunker, two foxholes, two wire, two half squads, two MG42 machine guns. They will also have Sergeant Bauman, three full squads, and an MG34. It is a seven turn scenario. The British will have initiative on turn one. Victory conditions, the British win if there are no good order German multi-man counters, heroes, or vehicles on or within three hexes of a bridge hex. And our special scenario rules, it is a night scenario, so the night rules are in effect with a visibility range of three. And unexpected, the British have the initiative for the first three turns, and the Germans can take no actions on turn one. Set that to computer, hit play scenario, and we shall be off. Okay, so here we go. So we start with the operations phase. As you might expect, there will be no rally phase since we're just starting off. So we have our gliders and you can kind of move things around, determine who's on what glider, but we'll just go with the basics. So each glider has a leader and some squads with some support weapons. So we're just gonna go. Now we have to pick our targets. So this isn't really the best in my opinion, I want to move them a little closer to um, the bridge itself. And we'll hit launch. Now, this is a little risky because you can have um, drift. So you see the land off target. That actually wasn't that bad. Not great, but not bad. They're on target. Glider 2 and Glider 3 is also off target. Lands in the water. That's bad. That means I basically lost that hole. And that entire group is gone, so that was terrible. The only thing left over here now is some uh, their support stuff and their broken glider. They're all dead, so that's outstanding. So we have to rally for the people who were off target. Hopefully we roll low. That is the goal here. So far so good. We do get a, um, a terrain bonus. That one's not good. So we have at least one failure. And we get, well, three out of four ain't bad, as, uh, you know, some might say. I was going to say as Meatloaf might say, but that would be two out of three ain't bad. So get my song titles mixed up here. All right. So let's see. They are not in the best of positions here, but we are going to... Take these guys and we are going to fire on that machine gun and hope we can do some damage here. Well, that, that's a good roll, so that should take care of this squ half squad here. <laughs> Says Joe, who rolls a one. <laughs> and they generated a hero, so that's awesome too, isn't it? All right, well, that didn't work out very well. So we're off to a rip roaring start here. Now they're going to get sliced and diced by the Germans, potentially. 
All right, interesting. Okay, so let's see what we can do here. One, two, three. So we have to kind of get to here. All right, let's see. Let's try an assault move. Ugh, that wouldn't work. Hmm, we'll go there. And then we're gonna fire. Good roll. All right, we'll take it. Not bad, not bad at all. The ideal situation would have been for these guys to take out that squad and not generate a hero, but we do have a wounded hero now, so that's better than um, better than the alternative. Now these guys will fire, I'm sure. Yes, they're in the open. This could be really bad. Oh, even rolling a one. Well, we rolled a one, I should say. They rolled a six, so this is going to be bad, like I said. Oh. Yep. Isn't it amazing how they can always roll fives and sixes? <laughs> Oh boy. Well, losing a uh, losing an entire glider on the first um, mission there is really not good. At least we rallied our third guy here. And oh man, when you don't rally your leader, that just destroys your whole turn basically. All right, so let's take these guys and move them back. Because they need to rally to do anything and they've already been beaten up and taken casualties and all that stuff. So we're just gonna move them back. Well, that's not too bad. Well, they didn't roll a five or a six. On that one. Keep it low, keep it low. There's the six. And there's another six. How about that? here we have a leader and three squads with a uh, hmm question is what should we do here I don't want to move because of our shaken. Well, I guess I could move. Let's move there. All right. Well, probably not going to uh, succeed at this particular scenario here. So, um, yeah, nice. Oh, come on, man. We need that leader to rally so he can rally, or we at least have a chance at rallying our men. This has been a situation where everything that could go wrong at the, from the very beginning has gone wrong. And of course, I didn't help by moving them here where they were. But, c'est la vie, right? Let's see if we can spot these guys. All right, so now we can fire on them. And 
that didn't really do much for us. Oh. their leader of course Major Howard got killed in the glider that crashed into the canal that was successful now about the other one hey he rolled a two all right finally it's about time McLeod leader and uh, one. <laughs> one half squad. That's great. All right. Well, let's crawl. We can't crawl. Oh, here. I don't know if I want to do this or not, but it is turn five. That is going to expose them to that. So we'll do it anyway. Let's see what they do. Are they going to fire on them? No. All right. Now, if you go in here, there's an event here, which is going to pull in German reinforcements. Which I kind of don't want to do. So I'm just going to shoot at him. I mean, I'm not going to win anyway, so there's no sense in making it harder on myself than I have to. But if we can get some, uh, some good shaken results here, that'll be helpful. So far, doing pretty well with that. Well, not terrible, not great, but not terrible. hero. This one has skill rocket man apparently. Handheld anti-tank weapons. And he has the pilot. Chapman. 
deadly. But he's wounded. All right. Ugh, really? Maybe I should try to get in the tree line. <laughs> oh man, that's really ridiculous. Awesome. go and they get initiative this time okay good job sergeant livingston going to shoot us up first. Oh, well, they passed. Interesting. And we didn't spot them, so that was not helpful. Oh, I screwed that up, didn't I? Yes, I did. I screwed that up. Well, like I said, we're not going to win this anyway because they have a squad, or half squad right here, that I'm not even going to be able to do anything to. So. We were behind the eight ball right from the get-go with the um, not being able to get that one glider in. Ugh, killing me, man. Try it again. Oh, I guess we can't. Oh, fantastic. This is my least favorite part of this, is waiting for all their die rolls to kill my men. <laughs> yeah, that was, real, that was great. That was really great. rallied pretty well, but ugh, man, that was terrible. That was terrible. I mean, losing the entire, you know, losing this whole, the whole group 
from the one glider on the very first turn. Killer. So that's going to do it. Um, this was obviously a quick and uh, not very successful mission. I'm probably going to play the second one in this, in which uh, Major Howard will be miraculously uh, resurrected. Um, and the uh, I believe the Oxen Box actually will be holding the bridge in that, because they did actually manage to take the bridge and hold it on D-Day. So um, I'll probably do that as well. I want to do a few things just kind of around the you know the whole anniversary of d-day which is you know as i'm doing this it's a couple three days from now so anyway that's going to do it like i said um thank you for watching as always and uh, i know this wasn't a particularly exciting one and i got my butt handed to me pretty good there but um we'll see how we do in the next one and uh you know until next time i just want to uh say you know please consider liking sharing <laughs> and or subscribing if you would that would be awesome and uh, yeah, that's going to do it. So my name's Joe. This has been Hexed Encountered. And until next time, happy gaming.